Hey, what's good, everybody? It's me, your hero, Jotaro Kujo, and you're watching Leveling Up with Jotaro Kujo. It's not Benjamin Banks because I'm Jotaro Kujo right now, and we are reviewing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Part 6, Stone Ocean, and joining me are Abakio, Mista, and Bucciarati. How are you guys doing today? Doing great. Yeah. Glad to be here. Hey, it is awesome having you guys here with me today. It's like, we all love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Trav and D, they don't like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So it's like, I couldn't ask them to do this review with me. So I had to go to people that I have interviewed before on who's that cosplayer, who are, you know, cosplayers and who love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So before we get into today's review, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel and you hit that bell button. So that way you're always notified when we have new content on leveling up with Benjamin Banks. And as D always says, podcast link down in the description like follow subscribe so let's go ahead and get into this review guys and man it's like you know i always save my rating for the end of the review but i'm just gonna go ahead and say it 10 out of 10 i love part one of uh jojo Preach. bizarre adventure stone ocean Preach. and uh Preach. what about what about you guys oh my God. so far 10 out of 10. Hey, I'm, just gonna say, I'm just gonna say y'all cosplay man all right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. Ten out of ten. Ten out oh, of ten. Man. Yeah, it was it, just it was... so cool seeing like the manga that I had just been reading before, like finally like getting animated. I'm like, whoa, there they go. It was really cool yeah. to see. Yeah, I 100 percent agree. Uh, what about you, Sailor Tech? I freaking love it. <laughs> <laughs> Super excited. Um weather, oh gosh. Weather control. What I'm sorry. By the report. By the yeah. report. Thank you. It was my favorite. Mm -hmm. right, and uh, what about you, B? Okay. Uh, I have never been more confused about my sexuality in my life, and that's a great <laughs> thing. It's fantastic. I don't know if I'm gay or bi, but uh, I'm certainly happy about it. Holy moly. Prison uh, lesbians. I'm here for it. <laughs> no, yeah, I love it all, man. It's it was just so amazing from beginning to end. Uh, one thing that I wanted to touch on was I had uh, interviewed Kira Buckland, who voices Jolene. And um, when I had interviewed her on our podcast, I had asked her because on her website, it said like one of her goals would be to voice Jolene if part six ever got animated. And she she said, uh, you know, she would be hyped to do it if she didn't get the role, you know, she would understand. But this was one of her things that she's always wanted to do. And she got it just like the uh, Japanese voice actress who yes. like she got into voice acting to specifically voice Jolene Cujo. So dreams do come true if you really want them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, with that being said, like, I'm just like, well, you know, if I ever get into voice acting and then part seven and part eight get animated. Like, who knows? Like, I could be like, hey, I want to voice somebody and it can happen. But, um, but yeah, I know, um, Starry, you said that you read the manga. I don't, I know the last yes. time I, I interviewed you, um, we were pretty much at the same part. Now, did you ever finish <laughs> reading the manga or were you no. still at the same part? <laughs> I'm still kind of in the same section just because of, um, grad school <laughs> at the moment um but i am absolutely gonna keep reading now because basically i think like i had only been a little bit more ahead of where um the 12 episodes on netflix ended so i'm thinking like i really need to like kick it into high gear and finish it um did you end up getting further in yourself or not really so i got to pretty much where it ends in the anime i got to that part where you know jolene she sees poochie and uh that was it so i'm just like dang so i guess i'll just keep on reading because we don't know when part two is going to be coming out um what about right. you tay? tay did you read the manga or were you on no watching the anime? no i'm i've just been reading uh, reading watching the anime but i played the video game so i'm pretty much spoiled <laughs> for all parts because <laughs> it went through every single book but i'm still excited like even though i know what's going to happen it's cool seeing what happens to get there and b what about you yeah i did uh i did actually read the manga um all the way through that was like a year and a half ago so i what i remember um 
we are in for a really bizarre adventure. Uh, <laughs> All right. And I cannot wait to see the uh, the other parts uh, animated. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you on that. I know um, <laughs> because I did read the manga and when it's like you know i already knew that joe Taro was going to be killed you know what i'm saying and yeah it's it's just funny because like my co-worker at work he was just like man i started watching it and it's like joe Taro, he's not really dead is he <laughs> i just gave him that look i said bro <laughs> i mean i mean he's dead i mean as far as i know no spoilers because it's like you know all of us aren't there yet so we don't know what happens, yeah. but uh, I know that it does get uh, kind of crazy in the second half. But uh, it was awesome seeing Dio again. It was all I feel like it's always cool when they do the flashbacks. I feel like the animation for this was a lot better than part five, in my opinion. Um, because Joe Taro in part five, like when they showed the flashback, he looked nothing like Joe Taro from part three. But when I saw Joe Taro in this and from his part three appearance, I was just like, thank God. You know what I'm saying? It's, I just feel like you can't butcher my boy, man. No, especially when at first they had those screenshots with his like massive brim. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. Jesus Christ. I mean, other than that, he looked, he looked great. And I'm like, I'm yeah. looking more intensely at Mr. Joe Taro. Uh -huh. Yeah, because <laughs> he looks cool. great. That yeah, scene where they showed Dio, he was so pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. You noticed? He was just like stunning, like like anime waifu, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I was just like, oh no. I feel no, like yeah. I'm, I'm like, no wonder Poochie like, was feeling like, some kind of way. Oh. I, I just like got I'm over this. The opposite spectrum, because I am a huge Dio fan. So I was just like, Dio's looking so good here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like he looked hella young. I mean, because... Of course, uh, you know, when Poochie said when he met him, like he was 16 years old. And as we know about Dio, like, you know, women have always been mesmerized by Dio. But, you know, we've never seen like a, a man be mesmerized by him. And I just love how like people are just Bisexual like. Bisexual icon. Yeah. <laughs> yes. it's, it's like, people, like I've seen people ask questions like, is Poochie gay? Like, I'm just like, I mean, it's Dio. <laughs> you know it's right? Dio. <laughs> Everyone is gay for Dio. You could be the straightest man in the world. If Dio rolls up, you're gay for that yeah, day. Unfortunately, yeah. it's, like, it's just it happens, man. It's it's like Dio. He has that uh that power. You know, that he that's one thing that he had over Jonathan. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. But I did want to touch on because I watched it dubbed, uh, starting with UB. Did you watch it subbed or did you watch it dubbed? So I did both. Nice. Cause I'm a psycho. Uh, <laughs> I binge watched oh, it uh, dub first, and then I went back and watched the sub. So I did both. Um, comparatively, honestly, um, they were both very good. Um, I liked the uh, Japanese a little bit better. I just thought the voices were... Uh, they felt more... Intense. Intense, but the English, like, the casting, flawless. Absolutely yeah. flawless. There was absolutely nobody that I said, oh, they should have cast someone else. No, everyone fit the voices perfectly. Each line of dialogue, fantastic. No complaints. What about you, Tay? And I complain a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, for part one, part two, I watched it in both sub and dub, but then I had to stop. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't do dub. I had to always do sub. I'm like a sub elitist now. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. With, I mean, it's like I'm going to go back and watch it subbed because I did watch part five subbed. But I feel like because I've been watching it dubbed this entire time, it's like I got to watch it dubbed. But yeah. I will go back and watch part three sub just to hear Dio say uh, Kono Dio die when Jotaro kills him. It's just something cool about that. I mean, and, you know, nothing wrong with the dub version, yeah. the English dub, but it's just something about him screaming Kono Dio die. You know, yeah. it's just I, I love it. But uh what about you, Starry? Like, did you watch it subbed? I've, I've only seen it dubbed. Uh, sorry, I've only seen it subbed for now. Um, I'm planning on going back to watch the dub because I've only heard good things about it, even just from you guys and other people on Twitter. Um, but at first, I was like taken aback where I'm like, God, everybody's screaming. Like, I don't, I guess because it's been a minute since like watching part five where I'm like, 
everyone was just being like really suave and cool for part five here i'm like oh everyone is screaming but i guess it's because they're in jail <laughs> but um the more i was watching it the more i'm like yeah no it had to be like this like we just to kind of get used to the new environment in the prison like i'm i'm glad that <laughs> everyone was screaming and it was a good time though <laughs> throughout yeah and one thing I'm going to be very disappointed about, because, you know, sometimes it's like in uh, anime, they add new dialogue that wasn't originally in the manga. I'm really hoping that they mention Florida Man. Now, you know, I know Florida Man wasn't a thing back in the day uh, when part six originally came out. But it's like Florida Man is a is a Florida icon. You know what I'm Listen, saying? He's, as he's... someone from Florida, I would be very happy if they did not mention Florida Man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but God. then if you think about it, everyone in the men's prison at some point was a Florida man who did it. Hey, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, man. Yo, they showed John Golly's ass. I'm glad they did. <laughs> no, he was the Florida man who was too thick, so they had to put him away. <laughs> so people <wouldn't> see him. <laughs> For the safety of society at large. Like, yes. Yeah, I, like, I'm happy that it wasn't censored, you know? Because I know... Um, you know, part yeah, me four, too. Part four <laughs> on Netflix, uh, I believe it's censored, but uh, I can't remember because I'm still watching part five. I don't know how much they censored, but I know on Hulu it's uncensored. Uh, but it's just uh, it's good that they didn't censor anything. I think it was smart for Netflix to hop on this and get oh. part six because it's just like you just you Netflix. They swooped in, took it from whatever network it's going to be on. And it's just like they can do whatever they want with it because they got that Netflix money. You know what I'm saying? Now, mm -hmm. sorry, I want to ask you, what was your favorite part in uh, part one of uh, part six? That's a lot of parts. <laughs> oh, I would say I'm really biased um, towards the fight with R Weather Report and Jolene and the anti-gravity. Like, that was so cool mm -hmm. to see. And just them, like, like flying in the air and almost just, like, being so close to death so soon. Within, like, I guess, because Jolene kind of was going through so many, like, crazy situations in the prison. But there it was very much like, oh, we have, like, two minutes of air. If we don't get out of here, like, that's it. Like, we're done. We can't get the disc to uh speed and foundation like everything's kind of screwed so i just i love the high intensity moments and just like every single thing both jolene and weather reported they just looked beautiful and that's why i'm like my by heart says thank you so much <laughs> it's just they look good it was such a cool fight loved it so much uh what about you b um every single solitary second with foo fighters just yes. every time every time they were on screen i was my little my cold dead little heart was just revived for a second like that's my favorite that is that is my all-time favorite plankton person and uh that's it they yeah, were I, they were flawless i agree with you on yeah. that and i think that yes. the animation for that episode when food fighters came in and then just seeing like all of the other prisoners and everything i thought that they did a really good job on it um, I really did hate that guard. You know what I'm saying? Like he tried to get uh Ermes to fall on the alligator poop, and I was just like, uh like I thought that they did a good job um doing that. Sorry about that. Somebody was calling me. <laughs> um but Tay, what about you? What was your favorite part? Um, weather report versus that prison guard that um shot Jolene. I love the whole frog <laughs> raining from the mm -hmm. sky. <laughs> It kind of reminded me of like Hugo's power with like not being able to control it, but like super strong. So I was like, yeah, this is the best part I've seen. <laughs> I like chaos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was just wondering, man. It's like if I got hit by a frog, like I would instantly die. I will say um, what that reminded me of, like when the guard, when he was starting to blow up. I don't know if you guys have seen the original Robocop movie, like where the guy gets dosed in acid. Okay, I'll sh I'll send y'all the picture, but it's like in the original <laughs> movie, it was giving me, it was yeah, giving he, me a Shira vibes. It's like he he yeah. gets covered in acid, and like that's pretty much what the guard reminded me of, and like he was just running up to Poochie, and Poochie was just like, "Well, what do you want me to do?" <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so the line that got me was him being like, "Not on my eight hundred dollars." Yes. <laughs> <Like, laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god yo real talk i mean because in the manga of course you know poochie he has like the purple outfit but i love the black like the black it just it's something about it it, it looks so sleek and and sexy you know he looks sophisticated and yes. the, uh, the voice actor who voices mm -hmm. him like i'm just like yo like i understand you know why dio loved this man and i understand why this man loved dio it makes sense but uh for me my favorite part was when uh you had uh the debt collector and just like i when i read that part in the manga i thought that it was interesting especially when uh Hermes had got caught cheating and then jolene took over for her and um i like how you know when the chick thought that she won and then jolene was just like i never said the rules the guard is a part of it and i also just love how to get around in prison it's like you have to pay the guards or you have to pay the other inmates in order to you know get things like when jolene wanted to call the speed wagon foundation and she gave the girl some money the girl poured the seat up for her, say i got a nice cold beverage for you right here do you need anything else you need me to prop your feet i just thought that was cool and funny but uh but yeah the man, debt I mean, collector guy he reminded me of um the guy in part three um Darby. that when you darby yeah yeah mm. yeah i like that well i mean there's there's so many callbacks to you know previous parts i don't know about you guys but uh there was a part where jolene had mentioned she mentioned something like she i say it was like uh dang i am not having a brain fart but she had mentioned something that somebody was gonna say or do and i was just like yeah she gets that from uh her great grandfather oh, yeah. you know yeah. what i'm saying so yeah. you had that and then of course you have the call back in the intro and speaking of the, the intro is just dope like i don't know about you guys i never skip anime intros and i made sure that i watched it every single time that it started it was cool seeing everything in 3d again but just to call back to when uh um stone free is behind jolene and it's a call back to when star platinum was behind jotaro in the part three intro but you know the Keep it on Jotaro. Like it was just awesome seeing Jotaro again. You know, it's like honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I really wish that Josuke was in part six in Stone Ocean, like an older Josuke, because he's my favorite Jotaro. I mean, not Jotaro. He's Me my too. favorite. He's my favorite. Josuke, <laughs> he's my favorite Jojo. Jojo. Josuke, mm. he's perfect, perfect yeah. boy. But I'm actually kind of okay with him like not being there. I like the idea that like. Josuke went on to just be, I don't know, like a paramedic or something, or like an EMT. <laughs> oh, hold, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you said that uh, after that ambulance uh, ran over he Kira's head. He was inspired. He was inspired. <laughs> He's like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> no, that's, that's funny, man. Like, I, that's like, I know that they're supposed to be coming out with a, uh, it's like a new manga where it's gonna have Josuke and Whole Horse in it, and oh, I'm looking yeah. forward to that. What are they? How are they gonna meet? Like that's the one thing I'm the most curious about because right. I'm like they are just not. They were just not in the same places. Where are they gonna meet? What are they gonna do? Yo, if they know it'll be crazy, Whole but it'll be fun. If they say that Whole Horse was the person that saved Josuke and his mom, I'm gonna be like, yo. <laughs> man i thought i thought that was gonna be a whole time travel thing like the whole time watching it and then it wasn't and i was so disappointed i, I thought it was like mm -hmm. saving himself. like yeah. <laughs> right. it's like they never i guess a rocky forgot i mean like that's the only thing that we could say you know what i'm saying because <laughs> it's like i mean like it would have been interesting to see like who that person was because it looked like josuke when he was fighting against kira and right. he just went back in time and then he saved himself but this is like it's never explained and we need <laughs> answers and I, rocky it's like i know like he was at a con uh i think it was a few years ago and he answered people's questions but i guess nobody asked him like who was the person that saved josuke just like how how did dio survive the ship burning up you know what i'm saying like they said it was a secret compartment in the in the casket but we don't, I, we don't question dio's whereabouts okay i'm just like well, well, hell like you know what i'm saying i also did like when was, magic. i don't know <laughs> i also like no when, dio uh, just had so much will that he found a way to get out of there exactly. <laughs> he found a way he he, he was able to drag jonathan's body into the casket 
and, <laughs> and like underneath the casket because remember arena she was on top her and lisa lisa were on top and dio was able to get in the bottle it's just yeah we don't question that stuff but um <laughs> but no um i'm trying to think uh like i said it was cool seeing jotaro again uh you know i understand that jolene didn't like him because he was a shitty dad but i mean he had his reasons you know i mean what like he, <laughs> what was the reason yeah I mean, he, he, look he, at the dolphins I forever and ever and ever. <laughs> hey, Joe Terrell hit her with the uh, like, hey, I'm going to the store to get some cigarettes, and he never came back. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's it is interesting. Like, why did he leave her? I mean, it isn't explained why he left. He just, I mean, left. they always do that with like the heroes, they always end up being bad parents because <laughs> they go out Man. to live their life and do whatever they want. <laughs> It kind of it kind of seems like all the Joe stars are really shitty. Jazz. Yeah, <laughs> man. I'm, I'm, I mean, well, you know, Jonathan. I mean, he he died unfortunately, and then we don't know Joseph. What, we don't know Joseph I mean, disappointed me so much. I'm like, why do you have to cheat on your wife? Like, yeah, why do you have to cheat on your wife? Cheating. I can forgive the cheating, and here's why it gave us Josuke. <laughs> That's all I care about. <laughs> no, I love Josuke too. He is my favorite JoJo, but I'm also like. Listen, when I saw uh, what Josuke's mom looked like, I was like, nope, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Nope, hey, I get it. Okuyasu thought the same thing. I understand. <laughs> Oki Okuyasu, he was ready to become Josuke's stepdad. He was ready. You know, you know what I'm oh saying? my God. I want to become Josuke's stepmom. No, he's willing to risk it all. <laughs> I'm mad that I can't remember uh, Jolene's brother's name. Do you guys remember what his name is? I'm blanking on it. I the, I'm mad. I'm about remember. to look it up. But but uh, it was like a side manga where Jotaro and Kakoin, they ended up having a kid together and Kakoin laid a <laughs> kid. I'm trying to remember what his name is. Yeah, but what is his name? Man, I'm about to look it up real quick. Uh, no, and what's so funny is that that was written by Clamp, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Like, oh, I yeah. think it was that. And I'm like, thank you so for, for this conversation. For us. <laughs> but, but that explains, like, that's the reason why he wasn't in Jolene's life. It was, it's Jota. That's his son's name, Jota Kuja. Jota, and, right, right. And I, what happened was, you know, Jotaro found out that Kakoin was still alive. And he risked it all to be with Kakuin instead of being with his wife. And Jolene has a brother that's out there, but um, I don't know where I was going with that. But no, it's just, uh, it's just. <laughs> I just wanted to bring up the egg because it's like a lot of people don't know about Jota Kujo and the egg and all that stuff. But um, very important piece of JoJo lore, right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, same thing with that like JoJo Cracker Barrel comic, or I forget what. <laughs> Jojo Cracker Barrel. No, I, I've never heard of that one. Me neither. What's no, it about? I, you can't leave us hanging. You gotta tell us what it's about. I'm I'm blanking on it. I just know it's 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 a mistranslation. But I <laughs> just someone to I I'd have to find. I'll find it later. I'll find it later because I. <laughs> yes, please do and send it my way. Um, Wait, so I, everybody I, here's favorite JoJo is Josuke besides yes. me. Well, who's your favorite? Yeah, if you have one guess, who would you think? Uh, I, oh, I'm going with George Joe Star the second. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, my favorite Giorno because he's Dio's son. <laughs> Giorno, is, you know, Giorno's a good JoJo. He's yeah. a good JoJo. And people can like actually fight me like in the parking lot of a 7-Eleven over that. I do not care. Yeah, he's I gangster. Like I will fight that. someone over that <laughs> physically. <laughs> <laughs> and also for a long time part one was my favorite so i'm like this this is like my love child right here <laughs> i mean favorite. like i like jonathan you know what i'm saying like he's the gentleman uh I, i'm it's like that meme where it's just like he just frowns upon like his <laughs> off, his gener you know the offspring and whatnot because it's like they've all done shitty things like joseph cheated yeah. and <laughs> joe taro he's not a good dad it's and like he, you know what was a mob boss at 15. yeah right. like, you know what's crazy it's like jotaro is a better father to koichi than his than his own daughter <laughs> like, well look at it look at his track record though he was calling his mom oh. the b-word and everything yeah. <laughs> that's true yeah, maybe he just doesn't like women i i don't know man but 
it's just it's why it's like i just know what koichi it's just like he was quick to save koichi but for joe yeah, lane i mean he did save like, joe lane i mean he did you know he put he put then also like mm, or even just he before being like oh she's getting that was hilarious mm-hmm. he like didn't have to or, save. Like, he'll break her out or, of jail, but he could have stopped the, her from going to jail if he hired her a good lawyer. <laughs> so, right. Crazy. Like, or the time when she was, like, 14, and he, like, sees her tied up, and just like, oh, BRB, gotta go. Like, he could have avoided <laughs> because all Because Kakuyin time. was like, hey, it's time to eat. And he's just like, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> or, I mean, maybe he was still in Morio, and he was just, uh, you know, chilling with Rohan and them, and he was just like, yo, I mean... That's how I got a dog because Joe, when he was in, he, when he was in Morio, like Jolene, she was, she was already born, right? He had already had her, right? She was like six. Like she was, she was little. She was a little girl. Yeah. And like, it's, it's just, I mean, well, of course, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, Rocky creating Jolene and everything was, you know, far off his mind when he was doing part four, but it's just crazy that it's just like he had a daughter and, you know, he just cared more about Koichi. You know, I mean, Koichi did save his life, not once, but twice. You know what I'm saying? He's he did say that Koichi was <laughs> a reliable guy. And, uh, you know, I just I just love Jotaro because, you know, he's the only person that uh, has defeated two main villains in the entire series. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you, you roll up in somebody else's part and you defeat their villain. You know, Joe's K, I mean, yeah, I mean, he got some licks in, but he didn't defeat him. But anyway, did that who who? Because huh? that ambulance took care of Kira. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah. The ambulance driver is the real hero here. Yeah, so unless unless Jotaro was behind the wheel of that ambulance, that does not count. <laughs> I do want, like, whatever happened to that ambulance? The ambulance I mean, are heroes is what I'm saying. We don't know who was driving that ambulance. And, like, how do you just back up? And, you know, you're not even looking at all. Like, he was, and it's not like he was backing up slow. Like, he was stepping on the gas while he was backing up. (laughs) Oh, my God. He just rolls up to, like, the scene of an accident, and he just floors it. Yo, (laughs) part of the Speed Wagon Foundation. (laughs) What if the person driving the ambulance was uh, John Gotti? And, like, that's the reason why he was in prison, you know? I mean... Just throwing it out there. I think I butchered his name. Isn't it John Gotti? Who? John Gallier. Oh, yeah. I butchered his name. My bad. Yeah, it's okay. (laughs) I've been butchering everybody's names tonight. Yeah, John Gotti. I said John Gotti. Well, maybe John Gotti is based off of John Gotti. I mean, it it makes sense, right? I I couldn't remember what the report, so I'm not even going to talk crap to you. It's fine. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, I mean, well, all right, Taylor, let me ask you, what are you looking forward to in part two when it comes out? Um, I guess what happens to Jotaro? Well, they, well, <laughs> I don't want to go into any, I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> okay. All right. B? Um, okay. So obviously more foo, right? That's what I'm really looking forward to. But also I want to see, honestly, like for more than like 0.5 seconds. Um, because he was just, he was there in the music room for like a minute. He saw, you saw a glimpse of them and then he just kind of walked away. And I was like, no, wait, come back. I love you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we should, we should have more of him in uh, part two. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it, it's, it's, are they really calling him Anastasia? Is, is that right? Okay. I think so. I think so. Okay. Which I'm like, grandmama, okay. it's me, Anastasia. I. All right, I'm not gonna question it. Um, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm it's. Just, I'm just kind of nod when it happens. You know how it is when they gotta change those names. Like it's like, of course we know it's Foo Fighters, but anybody that only watches the anime, they're just like FF. Okay. Unless, oh, I don't know. In the sub version, do they still call her Foo Fighters, or do they call her FF as well? No, they still call her Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Same yeah. thing with like that's why I know yeah. it's weather report and not weather forecast. Like they just say they're yeah. normal. See, I, yeah, because I like watch, I like read it too, and I'm just like I don't remember what the fake name was, but I know it's weather something. So the weather person, that's who I like. <laughs> or like or, or like Savage Guardian, and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm glad they fixed. 
they Go fixed ahead. uh it was wasn't it supposed to be like cry cry dolls and then they fixed it to like gg dolls instead like I'm glad they didn't uh, yeah. go with the original yeah. name they were gonna go with. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be right. I, <laughs> it's like some sometimes it's like some of the names are just like hey. I'm trying to think uh what is it? It's it's a, it's another anime or something where it's oh no. Um like all these. Like, you know, it's like you got Kit Kat, but then you got uh, like take five or you have hamburger helper and then you got pan burger helper. It's like that's that's what I think mm -hmm. of when they change the names in Jojo. But um Star, what what are you looking forward to in uh part two? Oh I I'm being influenced by like a friend of mine on Twitter. All she posts about is Pucci. I just wanna see more Pucci. I wanna see what he wants, like how crazy and how far he's willing to go to like make Jolin's life kind of living hell while she's in the prison and I unfortunately like I have seen some things about the end like without wanting to spoil myself so I'm kind of like I just want to actually understand what what is going on <laughs> at the end and not just seeing like scattered uh screenshots from the manga about it so yeah Oh yeah, I'm uh, gonna ride with you on that one. It's like I want to see what's gonna happen with Poochie as well. Um, I just love how when Jolene encountered him, like she doesn't know that he's the person that's you know running things at the prison. So uh, I want to see what's gonna happen next. I can't wait till she finally finds out that it is him and that he's the one that has Joe Tarot's, uh CD. Um, also, two CDs. Like that's weird. I mean. What this? What it came out of? What two thousand one? I, <laughs> yeah. I feel. I feel yeah. like if it, if, <laughs> if they did like a remake, it would be uh, what I I bet I I don't know airdropping <laughs> like like the MP3 airdrop their info. Oh yeah, or uh, the cloud. Yeah, it's up in the cloud. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, but anyway, I mean, I we already said you know what we would give it for our ratings and whatnot. So. Uh, Thank you everybody for watching our review. Uh, you know, make sure you check out some more reviews that we have here on the channel. Thank you everybody for uh, joining me up here on this review. You know, I appreciate you guys joining me. And before I let everybody go, starting with you, B, let everybody in social media land know where they can find you at. Shit, you had to start with me. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can find uh, my cosplay content on Instagram at um, b.bethy. Um, you could also find my podcasts. Um, is this podcast a JoJo reference, Deep Lore, and my new show, <coughs> No Time to Binge. All right. Yeah, that's about it for me. Awesome. Next. Okay. <laughs> um, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook page at Sailor Tay Cosplay and TikTok. Um, and my Twitter is Sailor Tay without the O in Sailor. Uh, Sailor Tay Cosplay. I, I like to keep it all the same thing. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. <laughs> And star yeah you can find me on instagram twitter tiktok at starry underscore arcana just to keep it simple nice and then uh, of course you know where you can find me your hero jotaro kujo at at king benji underscore banks on twitter and instagram you can find me on facebook it's benjamin banks i should be the first person to pop up if not then i need to contact mr zuckerberg Thank you, everybody, for watching this review. I think all four of us, we did a really good job up here today. And uh, I am looking forward to when part two comes out. So everybody strike a JoJo pose. And uh, we'll see you next time on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Thanks again, everybody, for watching another episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe to the channel podcast we got that too make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that bell for further episodes and notifications thanks a lot to our patrons and if you don't mind join the patreon we'll be having new specials coming up soon